will be talking with the multi-talented Christina Zeidler, filmmaker, designer, musician, and new media artist. Her work is quirky and offbeat, and it plays with the way film is constructed. Trail mix? For God's sake, Morty! Christina has just co-directed her first feature film, Portrait of a Serial Monogamist, a lively, lesbian, romantic comedy set in Toronto. You know, we've been having a rough time lately. What, you think we should break up? <laughs> if you think that's best. Christina is the embodiment of an artist whose life and art come from the same place. She lives her artwork in pretty much everything she does and affects real change. I feel like art is a really powerful tool for social change. I feel like that's what artists have the power to do is to vision things differently. I guess I had always related better to art that I encountered on the street rather than art that I encountered in a gallery. When I was going into galleries as a little kid, you couldn't even see the paintings. They're hung too high for kids. My father's an architect and my mom's an art consultant, so I, I was definitely in the world of art. And I feel like some of the most radical acts that I've made are as um, an entrepreneur. To take those lessons that I learned as an artist, activist, a feminist, and to make my business reflect those values. The thing you don't know about Christina is that not only does she have an incredible art practice, but she also runs Toronto's Gladstone Hotel, the cornerstone of the Queen West art scene. Can you talk a little bit about um, the Gladstone Hotel and how some of the programs uh, bring in the Toronto artistic community? Sometimes I like to think of it as a, it's sort of like a giant fun house for trying out these ideas. You might know about our show, Come Up To My Room. We ask artists to come and fill these rooms and the hallways with site-specific installations. Just as she does in her own practice, Christina combines art and social activism, really bringing the community in to every project that she does. So we have a show called That's So Gay that looks really at the boundaries of the queer culture. And that really can't be done with one person's voice that really has to come from accessing a community voice. Uh, and I think it's really powerful and I think it's electric. Who are we right now? What are we thinking about? Let's have dialogue. Well, I certainly feel in the Toronto art community that there is a real feeling that of a community space, you know, a place where people can come and feel comfortable and feel welcoming. Do you feel like there's a trend towards inclusivity and community building that sort of permeates the art world today? Yeah, I mean, ho with my very rose-colored glasses riveted to my face, yes. <laughs> I've created a business that comes out of an artist-run ethic. Right. We are trying to have a different dialogue than that is happening in gallery spaces. And in fact, sometimes we're the ones who are able to have more candid conversations okay. about problematic things, okay. about race, gender, uh, sexuality, about gentrification, about urbanism. Actual literal conversations where you're here and the artist is here and you're actually talking. That is what collaboration is to me, that you, on your own, you can only go so far. Yeah. Making that part of your artistic practice or your overall vision is a very contemporary way of working. This idea that you can only do so much by yourself, you need to bring in the community to help you to achieve more. And then that led to the transformation of the hotel and to the, um, the decoration or the curation of each room by an individual artist. Because it was you know, a Victorian building built in 1890, it has these grand halls uh, that are begging for a social interaction. So some people might wonder, is the social part of what Christina does art? And I would say that yes it is. I think that art these days is broader than just uh, someone sitting in a studio with a paintbrush, but it's really getting out there and engaging people and bringing them in to work on things with you, together with you, and that's what Christina does. And that's what she's very successful at. I admire how Christina is focused in on a social activism and a community building aspect to her career. She's not doing it because it's the trendy thing to do. Her art is an embodiment of who she is. And I think that's, that's really great. I think, in fact, that's the only way to be as an artist. You have to follow what makes sense for you, regardless if other people are doing it or not. And Christina has combined her interest in city building with her interest in art, with her running of the Gladstone, and the three things come together in an incredible synergy.